Hey, what's going on everybody? Joe back again with another video for you. So today is gonna to be my first impressions video of the OnePlus 2. So I just got this in a couple days ago and I've been meaning to do this video, but thankfully I actually got to spend a little time with it before I gave you guys my first impression. So I feel like this is gonna be a pretty good video. So the OnePlus 2 here is running a 64-bit octa-core Snapdragon 810 processor clocked at 1.8 gigahertz. It's got an Adreno 430 GPU. It comes in two different storage configurations. It's a 16 and 64 gig, and then depending on which model you get, you get 4 gigs or 3 gigs of RAM. Uh, the pricing is 329 and 389 respectively. It's got a 13 megapixel camera on the back right there with laser autofocus and dual LED flash. And taking it around the front here, we've got a 1080p display. It's a 5.5 inch and it is a 401 PPI. Now, I've got to say that I was a little bit disappointed that they did go with that, but I guess for battery management, that's probably a good idea. Uh, luckily, it's a very nice, sharp display. So I definitely have no complaints with the display. Some companies tend to uh, make theirs not very good, but this is nice. It's got good color replication. It's not as vibrant as a Samsung uh, AMOLED display or any of the AMOLED displays out there, but LCD displays just aren't going to be that. So talking really quick about build quality and design of the device, I really love the design. I like this sandstone back here. It feels just like sandpaper, like a lot of people say, uh, but we've got the metal around the edges, which is really, really a nice touch. Uh, we have our antenna brakes at the top and the bottom. Uh, we have our power button and our volume rocker on the same side, which is a little bit different than last year's model. And this is kind of the same thing that HTC did with their 1M9 with the power button down low like that. So I'm a little bit used to it, uh, but I'm not really sure how I really feel about it yet completely. Uh, on the other side, there's a little toggle switch here. Uh, it's a three position switch and it goes from uh, normal operation as far as getting all of your calls and your notifications, uh, then you got your uh, priority, and then you've got none when it's switched all the way to the top there. Now on the very bottom, we've got uh, speaker grills, machine grills down here. It's down firing speaker, and it's only got one speaker. It looks like two, but I think they did that for symmetry. This is probably on the other side housing a microphone. Uh, this is does have two microphones. It's a dual microphone, so it's good noise canceling when you're on a phone call. Uh, but the real star of the bottom of this device is the USB Type-C port. Uh, it's something that OnePlus opted to go with this time around, and I really applaud them for doing it. I know it's going to be a little bit tough in the beginning since there aren't a lot of devices that have the USB Type-C port. Uh, but I applaud them for actually getting this going. I really like it. So on the front of this, we've got this fingerprint scanner here. And I've got to say, it's been pretty accurate. Uh, but I think my thumb is a little bit fat for it. So I trained my, uh, my index finger. And my index finger actually works a lot better uh, on the fingerprint scanner itself. So battery life for this has been pretty good. Uh, I've gotten about four hours of screen on time so far and I'm hoping the battery life actually improves. So that's going to be a good thing because although this does have a removable back, uh, it does not have a removable battery. But when you do remove the back, you see you have a dual SIM card slot, which is pretty awesome. I've never owned a phone with a dual SIM card slot, so I uh, don't really know what I'd do with it. But um, um, I know there are things to do with it, I just don't have anything in particular. Uh, but the back does come off, it's got five other, or four other, including this one, uh, style swap covers, you've got bamboo, you've got another kind of wood, you have Kevlar, uh, things like that, so that's pretty awesome, offers you a little bit of customization and flexibility with that. I did wish that they included a micro SD uh, card slot, but they did not. Uh, also, some of the things that they did not include are NFC, uh, wireless charging and quick charging and out of those three um, the only thing I'm really actually gonna miss is the uh, quick charging wireless charging has too many cons so I'm not really gonna miss that too much and um, the NFC I even though it's there and a lot of devices I really just don't use it so uh, anyway yeah I mean the build quality of this thing is pretty awesome the battery life has been pretty awesome I did do a camera test today so that video should be coming out shortly, so look out for that. 
Uh, overall, I've been extremely impressed. I feel like if you guys can get an invite for this thing, I would definitely pick one of these up if you're in the market for a new smartphone. I know the Moto X just came out or is just about to come out and that might be a contender and there are also some other budget smartphones uh, that seem on paper to be able to contend with this device here uh, but if you hold this thing in your hand uh, it's going to change your mind because it, just the build quality alone is absolutely outstanding I love the metal around the edges I just kind of love everything about this uh, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. If you have any questions for my full review, go ahead and throw them down in the comment section below. Uh, as always, don't forget if you like this video, share it, subscribe so you don't miss any of my future content. And as always, I'll see you next time.